Hi everyone, I'm Acacia Courtney and today we're talking about the Rainbow Six at Gulfstream Park. Of course you want to try to pick the last six races on the program, but what makes this wager unique is that it's a jackpot based wager. Hi everyone, I'm Acacia Courtney and today we're talking about the Rainbow Six at Gulfstream Park. Now, of course you want to try to pick the last six races on the program, but what makes this wager unique is that it's a jackpot based wager. So, you want to try to be the one unique ticket, that's the main goal. It's just a 20 cent based wager and on Thursday, April 9th, we'll have a $750,000 jackpot guaranteed pool at Gulfstream Park. It's races 5 through 10 and it's a pretty fun sequence as well. I put together a one $144 ticket. We'll go through it race by race, starting with race number five, which is a maiden claiming race for $40,000. And this is a, a pretty wide open field, so I went four deep using two, three, five, and seven. The number two spiritual king, probably a horse that will take a lot of money for trainer Todd Pletcher, showed a lot of speed last time and just wasn't able to sustain it. I know it's going to be second off of that freshening, um, but I really did think that there were a couple of others in here that may have a bit of a better shot, but I used this one protectively not wanting to get knocked out in the first leg of the rainbow six I did prefer the number seven dr. Doyle who I've been chasing for a little while took a big step forward at a comparable level last time out Louis Saya is aboard and the number five ratify first off the claim for Eddie Plisa jr. not a barn that claims very frequently but does have very good stats when they do I also use second time starter more than usual who also takes a drop in class for Safi Joseph jr. we stick with maidens this time uh, we have uh, six furlongs on the main track in race number six and I'm just too deep in here using the eight and the nine. The nine quiet company has quite a bit of speed, drop in class, probably the horse to be in here. So I use this one but my top pick is the number eight unprecedented for trainer John Kimmel. They've kind of been searching with this one. I've been watching him his last couple of races. They paddock school before he came to the race last time out. He's a high energy type. Mentally that's been the challenge challenge for him I think in the afternoons. So the fact that he comes in as a fresh gelding this time I think is going to be a big key for him and Joel Rosario going to be aboard. We have a nice allowance optional claiming in race number seven. I'm using one, four, and six. The number one flash pass, I really liked switching to the turf, has the pedigree to back it up, and I thought took a big step forward last time out. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to beat another one in this field, and that's the number four, Dominate the Moment, who I'm also going to use. We'll see if he can keep that good momentum going, but I really did feel like flash pass was moving in the right direction. I'll also back myself up with King of Ranch, who comes out of that same race, has taken a lot of money, but it's Mike Maker on the turf, and I felt uncomfortable leaving him out of this se sequence. In race number eight, I'm using two, five, and seven. We have another case where we see some horses coming out of the same race. The two Krupis Pizza Dom and the seven Preacher Marcy are going to be rematching in here. So I wanted kind of a fresh face as the top pick, and that's going to be the number five voluble for trainer Bob Hess Jr. Dropping in class has never run this low. Does have Tyler Gaffleone aboard, who at the start of Gulfstream's spring meet has been back adding about 39% in the win column. So I feel pretty comfortable using that one. And then I'll use the rematching horses as well to give me a little bit of coverage. Ninth race today in our late double. I'm just too deep in here using the two youngest of five and the four Moretti. Now Moretti probably the one to beat. He's the morning line favorite, half to battle of midway. Clearly this was a horse that the connections had high hopes for. It seems like they've kind of been searching a little bit. The blinkers go back on today. He's had a couple of races with the blinkers on, including the grade three withers, which he participated in as a three-year-old. He has experience going the two-turn distance, which I think is a positive for him, but he does have a bit of a question mark next to him, not really seeing that I've been able to f see him find his right spot, level, distance, whatever it may be. He seems to be a bit of an enigma for the connections, but a horse that I do think has a lot of talent and has only raced twice so far, is the number two youngest of five for Stanley Huff. He's stretching out to the two turn distance for the first time. So that's gonna be his challenge in here, but he won really nicely last time out. So we'll see if he can handle the challenge this afternoon. We wrap things up in race number 10 with the Phillies in a maiden special weight on the turf. And this is a tough race, so I used five horses in here, wanting a bit of coverage, just not wanting to get kicked out if I make it to the last leg. I'm using three 
three, five, six, eight, and 11 to wrap things up. Uh, the number eight, Act Like Artie, she's the top pick in here, had a troubled trip last time out, and did end up taking a step forward in her second career start. I think the six, No More Stories, is very intriguing. Blinkers going on, second off the layoff for trainer Brian Lynch, who has some really good numbers with this kind of move as well. The three, Passion Factor, trying the turf for the first time, and I thought physically needed that race last time out. You've got the 11, Valletta, who ran a really good race last time out for trainer Bill Mott, and I went five deep in here because while I don't necessarily like the five mighty road in here, uh, not a ton of turf pedigree and just not really uh, blown over by this one in this very competitive spot, it's still a first time starter on the turf for trainer Chad Brown in a maiden special weight with Tyler Gaffleone up, so I didn't want to leave that one off and get knocked out in the last leg. So that's how I see the 20 cent rainbow six on Thursday. I want to say a big thank you to everybody for watching and wagering on Gulfstream Park and good luck with your rainbow six tickets.